CBS 46 News presents Public Affairs on Peach. It's Black History Month and celebrating black culture is the focus of the Black History Month Parade. And this year the fun and entertainment is expected to be epic. Good morning to you and thanks for watching Public Affairs on Peach. I'm your host Adam Murphy. This is just the third year for the parade and each year it gets bigger and better. Joining me now to talk about the parade, I have the board who does all the hard work for this event every single year. Tell me your names and what you guys do, and thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having us, Adam. Uh, my name is Khalil Islam. I'm the Director of Operations for the Black History Month Parade. Okay. And I'm Jacqueline Williams, the Executive Administrative Assistant of the Black History Month Parade. And you, sir? And I'm Nikwe Jones. I'm the Vice President of Operations. We have a nice little round table going on here, so this should be a good conversation. Yes. I'm anxious to hear about this. Uh, we just talked about how this is the third year, right? Well, this is actually the fourth year. So this will be this, the fourth year. This will year. be the fourth yes. year. So you've had three years in your, yes, yes. In we're, your pocket. We're definitely growing. So tell me about it. How has it grown year by year? Um, it's, it's grown through the participation, uh, the community support. Um, we have uh, great partnerships with the city of Atlanta, Fulton County, uh, the Atlanta streetcar as well. We, we really encourage everybody to come out and uh, and enjoy the Atlanta streetcar, the new Atlanta streetcar. Um, the team and I are very excited. We, we have a lot of featured bands coming out uh, from uh, uh, Nasu Bahamas, um, well, NASA Bahamas, I'm sorry, uh, mm -hmm. the Legends Marching Band, the Infinity Marching Band out of Baltimore, Maryland, wow. and the, the Rage and Tiger uh, Band out of uh, New York, New York. Um, but we also have lots of bands coming from Los Angeles, um, um, uh, Charlotte, Augusta, and even here in Atlanta. Um, so um, we have an array of special guest appearances and a lot of great groups and organizations uh, that are coming out. Um, so it'll be a great day of celebration. Sure. Um, live entertainment, food, and uh, fun for the whole family. So have you seen a growth in the total number of people coming out year by year? Yes, we have. Um, you know, our first year we started in 2011. Um, uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't have uh, the, the, the crowd that we wanted, uh, but um, throughout the years it's definitely grown. People are starting to uh, come apart and... Uh, come out and celebrate with us. Some great photographs here from years past, right? Yes, definitely, definitely. And you can tell, I mean, you have quite a few uh, members out there that are partaking in the event and then others that are uh, along the parade line there. And so how long does the event last on a Saturday? And it's a week from today, right? It's, it's, it's a week from today. Uh, yes. Like I said, we're very excited. Very. Uh, we want everybody to come out with us. Uh, the parade will start at the, uh, the National Historic King Center okay. um, and continue down Auburn Avenue to uh, the, uh, the Woodruff Park while the festivities will be begin. That's great. And so it, how long is the parade route? Do you guys know? It's approximately a mile long. About a mile long? Yes, sir. Okay, so anybody can line up in that area. They'll get to enjoy the bands, mm -hmm. the, the other yeah. entertainment you have going on. Absolutely. And, and so uh, are you seeing a great deal of excitement from Atlantans that want to come out and get involved? Yes, we have several different people who have called in to volunteer. We also need additional volunteers, so if anybody would like to volunteer, you can go to www.blackhistorymonthparade.com, and that's blackhistorymonthparade.com to volunteer or for vendors, so we're very excited, very excited. So what kinds of volunteers are you looking for? Anything specific? Um, vendors, volunteers to participate in lining up the band, volunteers to participate with um, the dancers, all type of uh, volunteers for all arenas. Is there going to be any special food along the parade route, anything like that, or pe people can just enjoy what the city has to offer? Uh, people can enjoy what the city has to offer. We have we have tons of different uh, food vendors, oh, okay. uh, art vendors, um, like live live entertainment. So it, it'll be just a, a great celebration for everybody to come out and celebrate our history, our heritage, and our culture. And we're keeping our fingers crossed for a beautiful weather that day. Yeah, I, we're going to have it. One week from today is just going to be sunny yes. and warm, Absolutely. and people are going to come out and enjoy it. And what a great spot to do this. You know, in Absolutely. Atlanta, where the heart mm -hmm. uh, of what I would consider to be black history. I mean, with you, have, you know, the Sweet Auburn and, and Dr. Mm -hmm. Martin Luther King mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and so forth. And you're right down there in it. Right down yes. there in it um, with all the historic churches, uh, Big Bethel, Ebenezer, uh, the old Butler Street YMCA, and uh, the, uh, the old Atlanta Life Financial Building. You know, I'm sitting here as I talk about that, getting chills, <laughs> thinking about how this event, you know, is, is right in the heart Definitely. of it all. And, and down there where Dr. King grew up and, 
you know, the Sweet Auburn area and right. so forth. I mean, that is really pretty neat. I mean, we couldn't do it without, you know, everybody's support, the team, yes. the city of Atlanta uh, for, uh, for, for helping us out with this and the, and the, and the Fulton County as well. We really sure. appreciate it. Absolutely. And also a great partnership with the Atlanta streetcar. Yeah, that's Please great. come out, guys. you got to experience the streetcar. Well, that's really the nice. thing about the streetcar. You can, you know, go around to different areas mm -hmm. uh, through the city, too, and it drops you off right there where you guys are going to be. Right, right. Uh, and it's fun, and you get to see different things. So tell me what the message is that you guys are, are putting out by doing this event. What do you want people to learn? We want people to learn learn about our history, our culture. Come, come out and see all the different arts, um, the different organizations, uh, people who, who really uh, want to be a part of it and, uh, and see this grow um, uh, from, like I said, our history and, and our heritage. Yeah. I mean, because not only do you get to enjoy and have a fun time with all the music and the arts, mm -hmm. you're right there with all the Dr. King stuff and, and so forth. and you know, museums and <laughs> so forth. So yeah, you yeah, really yeah. get to take it all in. This is the place to be, uh, mm -hmm. as I see it for Black History Month. Yeah. Thank you all very much for being on the program. Best of luck next Saturday. you got to get out there. Again, if you want to find more information, that website is? www.blackhistorymonthparade.com. There you go. And it's Saturday, February 28th. We said one week from today. It starts at noon in the Sweet Auburn Historic District. The parade route winds through Auburn Avenue, Woodruff Park, and Peachtree Street. Get out and have a good time. That is it for this segment. We'll come back right after the break with more. We're going to tell you about some great arts uh, that you can also enjoy. And we're going to be in the kitchen a little bit later. This is all about Black History Month on Public Affairs on Peach.